a lot of things that we practice specifically. I, mean, I can show you my play sheet. Um, coming out of the end zone, the runs, there's no runs. That's yeah. that's the go route, you know, and we that's what we practice. And um, same thing last night. We, we On Thursday night, we practiced the two-minute drill to end it, and last night at the end of the half, we had to have the two-minute drill. So that's what I like is that some of the specific things that we've been practicing, um, you know, we're getting in the game and it's being successful. So that, that helps when you go back to the kids and say, look, this is why we're doing it. But uh, I'm not very happy with the defense. I, I don't think they played very good, but we – you know, you got one guy says he can't go in pregame warm-ups, and, and uh, so we, we just had to go with what we got, you know. But uh, uh, we won, and um, we're trying to teach that win, 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 and, and uh, we'll take it. What, what about – What about – goes open, that means the line's blocking, and your quarterback's got time to throw it, and he throws a good ball. Well, I mean, he can run. You know, I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody knows he can run, and, and uh, you know, with Shy not playing. You know, Roscoe's our guy, and, and uh, if we get the matchup we like, we've taken it, and uh, we've taken shots. I can show you that on my sheet, too, is <laughs> take some shots downfield. I didn't think I did a good job of that last night, is taking shots, and, uh, you know, once I look out there and I feel like we got the matchup we want, we're going we're gonna to push the ball. We're a vertical passing game. You guys know cover us. We're going to push it. But what does that just mean when you get when you get him back, though, to have two big threats like that on either side of the ball? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it's any day here. <laughs> uh, you know, it was – it was much funner in the summer in the first part of June when we had my true four guys out there. And number four's playing really well. It was my fifth wide out, and now he's starting. But he's playing well. So when he gets back, um, it, it changes how we go for sure. <laughs> what about after those first couple drives? You guys seem to settle in there a little bit. Yeah, I think it, early they played us a true 3-3 three, three inside, and they, and they were really coming with something – you know, these jamborees are hard because you don't sit down with your O-line and prepare for what you're going to see. You just don't know. Um, and we saw a different defense last night, and it did take us a little while, but I think we the quick passing game, and we hit a couple screens, and, and uh, you know, we just got to find a way. Uh, these jamborees are a little harder on the coaches than you think just because you, it's just so much unlike that preparing for the next opponent. What about the, the sure. uh, work put in between your quarterback Smith and uh, a couple of his targets in Johnson and uh, Feaster out there? Say that again now. What about your quarterback Smith? He seemed to be really in sync with a couple of his targets out there. And... Oh, yeah. Now, you gotta you got to understand that, that those wideouts out there all played, you know, started every game last year, you know, minus shy. And those, those guys played. And Dearis has really started for two years. So, um, he made a bad read on the pick. You know, he should have thrown that ball in there instead of lobbing it up. Um, and he knew it as soon as he came over there. And it's a lot of, a lot of times, it's how they respond, especially quarterbacks, how they respond after a bad play. And, and I think he responded pretty well.